and welcome to part two of the review. In the previous video, we had a closer look at the Max Verstappen Fan Shop Edition of the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix model as made by Minichamps. If you missed that video, there's a link to it right here in the corner. So in this part, we'll have a look at the standard version, again from Minichamps. Although it's a model based on the same car from the same driver from the same race, it's slightly different compared to the Fan Shop Edition, which has some features that are exclusive to that version as we've seen in part one. This standard model is much more straightforward, like most of Minichamps' Formula 1 releases. The first difference that is immediately noticeable is that it comes in a different box. This one comes in the regular windowed box, although it's slightly different to the usual Minichamps boxes as this is decked out in this uh, Red Bull Racing theme. It's basically just a dark blue box instead of black with a checkered flag on it and there are Red Bull logos uh, on all sides of it too. On the side flaps then is uh, all the model's info, and here you can read it's a limited edition too of uh, 5262 pieces. Also included with the model car is the same pit board you get with the fan shop edition. Underneath the box then is all the usual mini champs and licensing info. The extra pit board then is basically hanging onto the backboard of the display stand and underneath the car is a plastic holder to keep the model into place just like with the fan shop edition. So far for the external differences, let's now focus on the model itself and put it side by side with the fan shop version. One thing that you immediately notice is that the regular release has a driver figurine in the car and this is of course because the crouching one is made exclusively for the Verstappen shop. I was very lyrical about that special figurine of the fan shop edition, but because the cockpit then was left open, it showed the lack of any good detail in that area. Although the figurine here is not as special as the crouching one, it's not necessarily a bad thing, as this sitting version kinda hides most of the flaws from the exposed cockpit. Granted, the seat belts, for instance, are still the same kind of decal they use on the fan shop edition, but it just looks better on a figurine than on a bare, cheap plastic seat. The hole at the back of the cockpit is also hidden then by the driver's helmet, and it's less obvious that there are no extra details like carbon lining on the cockpit sides or a track map or any of that kind of detail. Yet another noticeable difference is the tire compound the model is on, the Fanshop edition of course has this nice used red sidewall Pirellis with the rubber pickup replicated on the thread of the tire. Here they are just regular wheels with the uh, white hard compound tires and there are no uh, extra blue tire markings on this version's tires which is a shame I think. Luckily the special quote from Pirelli in the brackets is still featured on this model. They are actually a bit more visible as the contrast from white to black is greater than red to black I think it's a shame they didn't add the blue markings too. In fact, I think it's something they should always put on their models. And this is a thing Minichamps have done in the past though, on seemingly random allocation of models. And it's very hard to understand why and when they decide to apply these and when not. The rest of the model is exactly the same as the Fan Shop Edition and thus also has the same good points, but then of course also the same flaws. So in the end, what is my final thought about the uh, Fanshop edition? Well, I think I mentioned a lot of flaws on the model in the previous part. There is the not so correct aero configuration, the lack of fine details on the front or rear wings, and most of all, the very bad uh, detail on the exposed cockpit. But for the Fanshop edition, the real plus points have to come from the added extras that are exclusively made for them. They kind of distract you enough from the obvious areas that need a bit more work. Does this then mean the standard version is not good at all as it doesn't feature any of those additions? Well, except for the pit board then. Well, not necessarily, I think. The fan shop version is certainly better thanks to the extras. In a direct comparison, the standard car is certainly not as good. But with a normal sitting figurine, it masks one of the biggest flaws of the fan shop model too, so I can't say it's all bad. I think for the people who just want to add to a World Champions collection and have missed out on the Fan Shop Edition and also don't want to fork out the highly inflated prices they are going for these days on the likes of eBay, then I think this model is for you. 
it's decent enough to feature in such a collection and certainly would not look any worse than let's say a uh, 2009 brown model by Minichance for instance. If you're looking for a good, a bit more special version of the 2021 World Champions model, then try getting your hands on the Fanshop edition still. Or try the Spark version instead. Yeah, yeah, surprise! I have here a Spark 118th resin version of the same Abu Dhabi Grand Prix car. And if you want to see a review and comparison video of that, then tune in for part three of this review. I know it was supposed to be a two-parter, but here we go, it's a three-parter. The one where Spark meets Mini Champs. So thanks for watching this part two video and hopefully I'll catch you again for part three.